Hi everyone good to see you again all I hope you all will be fine. Please check Iraq latest news updates. The government advisor for financial affairs, Maza Mohammad Saleh, confirmed, the step of linking Iraq with Iran with a railway network is a very important step that will contribute to organizing the transportation of goods and merchandise and even Iranian visitors with Iraq. Mohammad Saleh said in a press statement, Iran is a major trading partner for Iraq, and historically Iranian goods flow easily into Iraq, noting that imports of goods and merchandise except gas constitute at least $7 billion, which is a large figure for Iraqi imports, and it constitutes more than 10% of Iraq's international imports. And he stressed that, this line will contribute to organizing the transportation of goods, merchandise, and even visitors, which is an important issue, explaining that the easier the transportation cost, the lower the costs, regardless of the noise between the linkage at the regional level and the world, which is an issue regulatory is very important, whether trucking or train. And the advisor continued, Iraq is a country in which there is a large religious visit, being a great Islamic center, and this line will facilitate the transportation of visitors, calling for not expanding other political strategies and theories on this issue, and it should be limited to a limited issue, especially trade and visitors between Iraq and Iran. And the Central Bank of Iraq has recently taken new measures within the dollar exchange mechanism to travelers in order to prevent fraud, according to what was reported by the Finance Committee in Parliament. Committee member, MP Mween al Khadimi, told Shafak News Agency that the central bank has recently taken several measures, the latest of which is the fingerprint and a webcam for the purpose of dispersing $3,000 to real travelers and not repeating it with more than one person more than once. And al Khazemi indicated that some people are using tricks in order to receive the dollar at the official price by purchasing 50 to 100 travel tickets and an entry visa, visa by land, whose price is $25, in collusion with tourism and exchange companies, indicating that these people receive each a passport of $3,000, and a month later they repeat the same entry visa, receiving $3,000 again for the same passports. And he indicated that real travelers were denied receiving the dollar, because of these people and the complicity of travel and exchange companies, stressing that the recent measures will prevent this fraud from continuing. The Iraqi authorities require travelers to present their travel ticket and visa to enter the country they want to travel to, in front of selling them $3,000 at the official price set by the Central Bank of Iraq. Currency traders took advantage of this decision by collecting hundreds of passports from simple people and buying travel tickets and entry visas, in order to buy dollars at the official price and sell them at the parallel market price, collecting profits estimated at millions of dinars daily. And an economic report has revealed that the closure of the Iraqi oil export pipeline to the Mediterranean coast of Turkey in March has cost producers and the Iraqi state's treasury approximately $4 billion. According to Bloomberg, producers in the region, including DNO Acer, General Energy PLC, Gulf Keystone Petroleum Limited, HKN Energy Limited, and Shamarin Petroleum Corp. are awaiting an agreement with Turkey to restore production, which is currently sufficient to meet local demand. Association of the Petroleum Industry of Kurdistan APIKUR, expressed concerns that the losses will continue despite initial talks between the Iraqi and Turkish governments to resolve the issue. Gulf Keystone, for example, saw an 8. 8% drop in shares in London, and material uncertainty exists regarding the company's future if it cannot produce enough oil for sale. The pipeline's closure forced Kurdistan region producers to reduce production. Turkey stopped the flow through the pipeline to the port of sea and following an international court's decision ordering Turkey to pay Iraq about $1. 
5 billion as compensation for transporting oil without Baghdad's approval in the past. Ankara aims to settle the dispute through negotiation before reopening the pipeline. Producers have stated that they will not resume oil production for export until clear arrangements are made with the federal government in Baghdad regarding future payments. The Baghdad government insists on being the sole legal entity for selling oil pumped into the country. To generate some income, companies like Gulf Keystone have resumed production for domestic consumption. In August, Gulf Keystone pumped around 16,300 barrels of oil daily for domestic use, compared to the normal production level of approximately 50,000 barrels per day. Thanks take care.